Ryan Little. <laughs> giving this wig like trying to fix it she made this wig herself and as you can see she just brought the um ear tabs up too far when she was sewing but this looks really good oh, and this is a six by six closure this is a really good closure as well look at these knots teeny tiny knots Ooh, my TV. this will just be a customization um I was trying to figure out when she first showed me these pictures I was trying to figure out if I had to remake this whole entire wig but <sighs> seeing how this is a six by six closure and she still has a lot of parting space she still has a lot of space to work with i might just just cut like an inch of this off i don't know no, i don't really like the thought of cutting her lace especially the lace that she paid for but because honestly this this really isn't that much this on this side is a bit much but this side right here is really doable this is like standard of how much you're supposed to leave out when you're creating your closure wigs and this is a, is a bit much i'm gonna just see what i can do with this let me get started so what i decided to do i'm just going to level this side with this side so pretty much just cutting across so i'm just going to level um these sides out as you can see like i said i don't know if you can see this side is dead this side not so much and i just want to again level everything up with that side so i'm just gonna go straight across as straight as i can Right there, here, right. then I'm gonna go back in, and you can even see where you parted the hair. I'm just trying to make sure that my comb is straight. Straight, yes, I do not want to cut anything that I do not have to cut. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and see how it looks like again. I'm gonna do this on the page. As you can see, I was trying to cut through that little thick part of the ear tab for a minute. That part was thick. And my eyebrows are getting dull. These guys are not open, so I don't know how I'm going to get more. I just don't order them. But, yeah, just if you guys are not clear, um, these are what I was saying throughout the video. Um, so, basically, I was just leveling out both sides of the closure. Because one side was more farther up than the other. So, that's what I'm doing. I just parted out. I basically just part of the hair that was out of place kind of basically the hair that, that was just over what was leveled and that's what i'm cutting off i'm cutting off that lace actually not even just the hair it's the lace that i'm cutting off now things look more more even the ear tags look more even with each other um i might just cut off a little bit more of this side just a little bit Again, she already blew her knot, so I didn't have to do that. So, um, for this plucking, I'm gonna go one side at a time. I always start out plucking my wigs by parting out a small section in the front just to avoid any type of bald spots and you know just to make sure that the hairline is still intact so that's what i'm doing right now just parting out a section in the front and then i'm going to start plucking behind that and if you can see i'm plucking back and forth i'm doing it kind of randomly but it's kind of a small section so people find it easier 
to pluck wigs and stuff on their head. I am not one of those people. So yeah, like I said, I'm just plucking back and forth in this small little section right there at the top. And then once I get that down, I'm going to start moving down towards where her ear tap, not her ear tap, but like where the end of the lace would be. And every once in a while, just make sure that you're combing through the hair just to get all the, the excess hair that you're plucking off and to make sure things aren't tangling. When I feel like I've plucked the section enough, I parted it just where behind, I guess, with the line of demarcation would be, or where I can see a line of demarcation, and then I start plucking behind that. At this point, I was just plucking wherever I saw fit. Um, if you can see, I mean, it looks pretty good from right here, so I'm just touching things up right now. As you're about to see, I'm about to part this section right here. As you can see, like I said, once the section is plucked enough, you part it where the line of demarcation is behind it, and then you start plucking again. And right here, I'm just spraying water on the hair just so I can easily see what everything is looking like and how the hair is laying and if I need to pluck anything more. Though I'm not working in small sections anymore, I'm still going back and forth. You always want to go back and forth when you're plucking to avoid making bald spots. If you pluck in one second for a while, you're going to create a bald spot. looks pretty good so far you see there's still some like little straggly hairs i'll just put some water and brush those back um so yeah here here i feel like this looks good this looks good this is still a little bit dense to me so i'm gonna go ahead and pluck this section just a little bit more honestly all this does not take long um well now it doesn't take long And this is how this side is looking after plucking it. Um, yeah, it looks like a, a regular hairline. It doesn't look like anything was wrong with this wig. And you can you can see the difference between the um, the left side and the right side. So now I'm about to get started on the left. I might just go ahead and pluck this first, actually, because this this is. Just a bit. I decided to pluck the section before parting it because this side was definitely more dense than the other side, so it was very much needed. After I get done plucking this, I'm gonna go ahead and part that section in the front. Again, I'm going in with the water just to like tame the hairs pretty much and so to brush things back and get things out of my way. Then I'm 
gonna start plucking behind the hair that I parted out. <clears throat> when I'm plucking, I go back and forth in the section. It's easier to work in small sections. you're plucking or if it's hard to see how much you're plucking just go ahead and use that water again and just put everything back into place Okay, so I'm liking how I'm liking how this is looking for the most part. Probably gonna have to go ahead and do a couple more or just pop a bit more. pretty much done here I'm just going back in and plucking wherever I see fit on this side but I was pretty much done at this point so yeah you're about to see the um, end results basically both sides plucked um, I have a detailed video of how I did these baby ears coming soon so just look out for that thank you for watching like comment subscribe yes. but yeah this is looking Kimby Wiggs.